Hello everyone, welcome to day eight of our phonemic awareness training. We are going to start with rhyme repetition. Dark park, and your child says dark park. Flower power. Brain train. Slim rim. Joy Boy Long Song Slick Trick Tree B Jump Bump Thick Brick Now we are moving on to onset fluency, and that's the very first sound you hear in the word. So here's our first one, baby. So your child would say, baby, b. You can also ask your child, does the word baby start with the k sound, yes or no? And hopefully they would say, no, baby starts with the b sound. Color. Color, k, dad, dad, d, five, five, f, gum, gum, g, hair, hair, h, juice, juice, j, kiss, Kiss, k, light, light, o. Now we are blending our words together. So our first one we have is bed time. So I'm saying the words with the pause in between, and then your child will repeat that pause word and then move on to the compound word. Bed time. Bedtime, cook, book, cookbook, lip, stick, lipstick, pony, tail, ponytail, under, shirt, undershirt, every one. Everyone, snow flake, snowflake, foot steps, footsteps, tooth ache, tooth ache, note book, notebook. Now we are looking for our ending sounds in our words, so I'm going to say the word. The student would repeat the word and then identify the final sound. Male. Ooh. So your child would say male. Ooh. Because that is the last sound you hear in the word male. Home. Mmm. Fun. Mmm. Skip. P. Mad. D. Hot. T. Cave. V. Freeze. Z. Rub. B. Miss. Now we are moving on to segmenting words. So I'm going to say the compound word. The student would repeat the word and then repeat the segment into two words. Sunlight. So they would repeat sunlight. Sun light. Downtown. 
downtown, headache, headache, Sunday, Sunday, workout, work out, playroom, playroom, doorway, doorway, spaceship, space ship anytime any time everywhere everywhere now we are substituting words so i'm going to say the word the student would repeat the word i'm going to say change blank to blank and the word is so here's my example base ball we're changing base because that's the underlined word base change base to foot and the word is football let's do another one football so the student would say football change foot to snow and the word is snowball snowball change snow to gum and the word is Gumball, gumball, change gum to kick and the word is kickball, kickball, change kick to base and the word is baseball. Be sure that you're taking your time with this and know that you can pause anytime you need to. Okay, it's time for our sight words. Boys and girls, let's go over the sight words that we already know. I, say them with me. I, it, it, a, a at, at is. is. Okay, let's do it one more time. I, I it, a, a at is. is very good all right we have two new sight words our sight words today for this week are going to be can and and let's say that together can, can and. and all right now what i want you to do is i want to give you a magazine and you're going to look for the words can or and, and if you find them, you're going to highlight them or circle them. So you can just briefly scan. Oh, look, we found one already. This is our word, and. So we're going to highlight it. And you'll keep looking and see if you find and or can again. Oh, there we go. What's that word? And. Good. What's that word? And. Very good. And it's okay if we don't find the word can. We can go to another page and look for it somewhere else if we need to, but we'll look a little bit longer. Up oh, there's that word again, our new sight word. What is it? And. Very good. Okay. So you can do this also if you don't have a magazine, if you have a newspaper or an old book, or just um, you can write um, some sentences on a paper and then let your child find the word and or can, which would be our new sight words, and circle them. It's time for ELA, Language for Learning. All right, we're gonna look at these pictures right here. Everybody, take your time and look at the pictures. Everybody, what are these called right here? Frogs? Yes, these are frogs. Are these fish? No. Let's say the whole thing. These are not fish. Let's say the whole thing. 
These are not fish. These are not fish. Good job. Listen, what are these frogs doing? Sitting. Very good. These frogs are sitting. Can you say the whole thing about what these frogs are doing? These, these frogs, frogs are, are sitting. sitting. Very good. Again, what are these frogs doing? These frogs are sitting. Yes. Are these frogs sitting in a car? No. Let's say what these frogs are not doing. These frogs are not sitting in a car. Your turn. These frogs are not sitting in a car. Good job. What are these frogs sitting on? Do you know what this is called? Is that a pad of some sort? Yes, they're called lily pads. And these uh. frogs are sitting on lily pads. So what are they sitting on? Lily pads. Yes. Are these frogs sitting in a train? No, they are not. Let's say what these frogs are not doing. These frogs are not sitting on a train. These frogs are not sitting on a train. Very good. What are these frogs doing again? Sitting on a lily pad. Very good. Let's say the whole thing. These frogs are sitting on a lily pad. These frogs are sitting on a lily pad. Now, if we, or if I just touch one, and I touch just one frog, would I still say frogs, or would I say frog? Frog. Very good, because it's just one, so we would say frog. But if there's more than one, we're going to say what? Frogs. Very good, frogs. Good job.